Hey guys, it's Allison, and I'm here with a 12 by 12 scrapbooking process. Um, it's somewhat mixed media, not really. I basically just used gelatos, and I don't really love the way that this layout turns out, but it was like my first one um, that I've done since I finished my December daily, so I thought I would show you guys it anyway. Sorry if I'm talking quietly, it's just late and everyone is asleep. So... I forgot to put gesso on here, which, like, <laughs> I don't know what my deal was, but yeah, I forgot to put gesso on. Even though, if you guys can see in the bottom right hand corner of my screen, that is my gesso. But I guess I was just excited. So this kind of looks washed out and weird. I don't know. I just don't think that I was having the best time. I just used one color and tried doing the packaging technique, and I don't know didn't end up awesome and then I was trying to open my color shine and it's like stuck <laughs> my husband even tried to open it and he couldn't I like tried to open it with my hands and then with a rag and, like, I could not get it open so I'm just doing it like this now I guess so I had this idea to use this Heidi Swap marquee tape on the bottom half of the layout which would have like it does I end up doing what I want to do but um it would have looked a bit better if I had actually had enough <laughs> so here you can't really tell here but I actually had to use glitter paper for the third strip because I only had enough for like two strips of the tape because I didn't think about it before I did it so Anyway, all the papers I'm using are from the Crate Paper Kiss Kiss collection because I had a ton of the embellishments from the newer Crate Paper Valentine's collection, Hello Love, but I didn't have any of the papers yet, so I just decided to use some older papers, so that's what I'm doing here, just using this, and I'm just ripping this with my ruler because I wanted some rippedness, <laughs> if you will. And then I'm just going through the papers and trying to decide which ones I want to add underneath that for a bit of layering. And, um, yeah, so there's that. <laughs> so then I needed some foam tape to pop up some stuff on my layout. So I just end up using this stuff from Michael's. Sorry if you can hear that my cat is eating. <laughs> And things don't stick to glitter, just so you know. So I end up having to stick, like, wet glue under, like, every one of these things that I stick on the glitter. But just looking through all the things, because this was the first time I was using this collection, which was super exciting. It was really, oh, excuse me, hard to figure out what to use, I think. But anyway, I ended up using these balloons, which are super cute. And they kind of are floating, but whatever. And then I wanted to use this frame, so I just cut it in half so I didn't have to use the whole thing. Um, and then I have trouble with my glue because um, it sucks and I need to get a new one, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> and now I'm opening the ephemera, which is so exciting. There's not very much in this collection, and I honestly feel like I need to get another pack but I probably won't because there's so many other new collections that are about to come out. And I'm really obsessed with planner stamping right now, so I've been spending a lot of money on that. And by a lot, I don't mean a lot, but the money that I have to spend on crafty things. <laughs> so I just um, found this sweetheart piece of ephemera, which I really liked, and then I want to use this seriously cute um, sticker just because it's like two kids like sitting on a ride on toy together. It's like a train, and they were like smiling, and he was holding on to her, and it was just so sweet. So, yeah, I wish it said sweethearts with an S, but whatever. So I'm just looking through these tags, trying to see if there's anything I want to put here. Oh, jeez. Oh, excuse me. Still trying to figure out where to put that seriously cute. And I think I end up putting it there snapping apparently I think I was just trying to figure out what I wanted to do so I decided to put the title down because whenever I get stuck in the middle of a layout I decide to put the title down because it usually helps me 
figure out where I can put the rest of my embellishment. So I was trying to use, um, so I didn't have the alphas that came or the thickers that came with this collection yet. So I just decided to use these Chamel, um, the ones from her Christmas collection, these thickers. Um, I tried to use that M, but it was too weird to go with a Y. I just named this My Loves. I would have used like some of the things that came with the collection, but there wasn't one that said loves. Everything just says love. So whatever. So I'm just using this little chipboard piece. It says you and me. And um, so looking through the ephemera, I guess, again. I like the way that this arrow turned out. And I did use my stapler, but I had to use some glue too because it was moving around a lot. So, yeah. I love to like make weird motions with my hands. That's something that I don't remember when scrapbooking, that I like do weird things with my hands until I watch the videos. So I decided to use these little heart stickers and staple them onto the chipboard to make them like have a lot of texture because I like bent up the, I don't even know, sides. I want to say wings, but that's not right. Oh, yeah, and then this wasn't stuck there because I didn't use glue. My cat is, like, up in my business right now. I'm, like, really happy because we finally moved. And, like I said before, the family members we were staying with didn't let us have our cat because one of them was allergic. So he, she stayed with my brother. And it's just, like, really happy for um, to have her back. I'm happy because she's cool and I love her. So I'm using half of a label to stamp the date on it, and I totally grabbed the wrong roller date stamp at first, and I totally mess up the date, and instead of writing January 7th, I wrote, write January 70th, so you'll see here. I don't know if you can see it, but I end up just covering up the zero, or the zero after the seven with like a heart sticker, and it looks a little weird because there's another heart on there, but it looks better than January 70th, so yeah. Um, and now I am just fixing it because it didn't stamp perfectly. And I think after this, I'm just going to add a few little embellishments. Uh, I thought about using these sequins, but <laughs> honestly, I like started to lay them down and they didn't look awful, but they didn't look amazing. And I didn't want to like spend time fussing around with them. And I just like didn't feel like taking the time to do it. So I just put them away. Um, and then just looking for some enamel dots. I use these DIY shop ones, and then I thought I wanted to use some other newer ones, but hello, there's my face. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I use these Dear Lizzie ones, and these DIY shop ones, and maybe some of these doodle bug ones, I'm not sure. Oh, it cut off apparently. <laughs> I forgot about that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you soon. Bye! Thank you.